Hello everyone, my name is Gina and I would like to officially welcome you to Seething Beauties. If this is your first time visiting with us on today, welcome. If you are returning, thank you so much and welcome back. Your girl really does appreciate it. Either way, if you are currently not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button below. Become a part of the Seasoned Beauties family. We'd be more than happy to have you. And there's more than enough room on this family tree just for you. Now, our video on today. Well, this is going to be, as you can tell from the title, a comparison video. I recently unboxed my cons my Luxy Complete Sponge Set. Okay, now. It was a $40 value. It contained three sponges. And so what I really wanted to do was compare the application using those sponges versus maybe the, hey, the AOA Wonder Blender, okay? So, that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to give you some information about each of the sponge sets that we will be using, the cost, and we're even going to follow the directions to make sure we use them and get a true application out of it, okay? Now, with the With the Wonder Blender, okay, I'm going to show you exactly which ones we're using to go up against the Luxie brand, okay? And then we're going to jump into the video, and then I'll come back at the end and let you know my thoughts on the use. Now, I will tell you, if you look right now, this is the completed... Um, makeup application using both products okay both brands now I'm not going to tell you which side is which I used it to apply my foundation my concealer my loose powder and my contour okay all using these blenders I'm not going to tell you which is which. You'll just have to watch it and see. And I'm just going to ask you, leave your thoughts below. Let me know uh, what your opinions are, okay? And if this is something that you may consider trying to do, if you have not done it already. Okay, so I went on to Luxie's website, and this is the way that Luxie uh, describes their complete sponge set. They are completely latex-free, vegan, and cruelty-free as well, and allows you to create any look while enhancing your skin's natural complexion. Now, out of the three blenders, we're only going to use two, so we're just going to talk about those two. The first one is the small one, which is supposedly pink. It really doesn't look all that pink, but that's what it said. And the other is the brown or nude color, which is the precision blender sponge, okay? Now, this says the, this small sponge is perfect for blending out color corrector and concealer under the eyes, around the nose and mouth, and over any blemishes for a perfected base before applying foundation. The tapered end is the ideal size and shape for under the eyes, while the rounded bottom will blend out color corrector or concealer around the face effortlessly. The Precision Blender Sponge, it says, is designed for seamless foundation application. Use the flat sides to blend out foundation out all over your face okay the angle tip 
is also ideal for applying and blending contour products on cheeks, forehead, and jawline. The usage would be liquid or cream products like foundation, bronzer, blush, etc. and can be applied many ways with the sponge. You can apply the products directly to the back of your hand or on a palette and dab the sponge in to pick up product or apply the product directly to the sponge and dab around on the face. You'll see what we decided to do shortly. It says to apply loose powder. Use the powder sponge, dip the sponge into your favorite powder and tap off excess. Then dab on the face where you want to set makeup. This sponge can also be used dry with loose powder if preferred. Now that's good to know. With the AOA sponge, we use the Wonder Blender Nude Beveled Sponge. It is two and a half inches dry and it is latex free and it's cosmetic makeup beauty blending sponge perfect for foundation application and contouring its unique shape allows the blender to be used for many different products and easy to grip use the pointed tip to contour and sculpt the flat edge for foundation application to larger areas of the face with a flawless finish this sponge is also great for adding highlight and blush to different areas of the face. Now, the second blender we used is the Mini Wonder Blender, and that one is 1.5 inches dry and is absolutely perfectly sized for applying highlighter contouring the cheeks and the side of the nose, blending out concealer under the eyes. This special size is perfect for precision that cannot be achieved with the original size. Now, this is for natural coverage. Completely soak the sponge in water and squeeze out excess water. This will make the sponge double in size. Then it says, oh, it will also make the sponge bouncier. Now, for a more full coverage look, use the sponge dry or light spray with water rather than completely soaking it. To add extra coverage to certain areas of the face, apply concealer and bounce the sponge in place to blend it. Now, according to the AOA Shop Miss A website, it says the Wonder Blender rivals the beauty industry's leading makeup blender brand and is the ultimate sponge tool for all liquid, cream, and powder products. This sponge provides a flawless airbrush finish without streakiness or blotchiness. Okay, so we're going to jump into this video so that you can see exactly what we came up with.
talk about the blenders okay now I really do not want to show you these dirty blenders but you did see where we submerged them completely in the water because the Luxie brand did not give me the option on the website to just damp or uh, damply spray the blender because that really would have been my choice so that it would not have sheared out the foundation so much. I would have gotten a full coverage look right off the bat. However, since I did submerge it into the water, I have to tell you, they did get, I want to say probably, I don't know if it was double the size, but, you know, they did get rather large. However, the Shop Miss A, AOA brand, still much softer than the Luxie brand. Now, I don't know if that means it's better or not, but I will tell you the bounciness is better when the sponge is softer. I'm just saying. So you would have to decide for yourself if that is, you know, what's best for you. Now, using them you can see one side versus the other i liked everything about the shop miss a brand i like the fact that they are both you know much softer and the product even with submerging it completely in the water there was more product left on the luxie blender as opposed to the aoa blender i'm telling you this to me those are things that are uh, a little better okay now did I dislike the Luxie not at all I definitely do like it but I'm just telling you the differences that I did notice the only thing I cannot speak on as of yet is how well it cleans up after the fact I am going to do that so that I will know for certain so maybe later on I'll add a little something into the description box to let you know exactly how well, you know, the, or how easy the cleanup was. Now, I do like the shapes of, well, they actually both come in the same shapes. I just did not purchase one that had the dual edge that was not... textured okay it had that you know velvety type of texture to it okay so I did not use that one to compare you know one against the other so I must say I did like overall the application of them both but I do think I prefer the AOA over the Luxie blenders when it comes down to the amount of product that is soaked into the blender or is not soaked into the blender, as well as the ability to bounce much better on the skin. It did not take as long to use the Shop Miss A, and it could also have been because that one actually came out to be larger than the Luxie brand. But you go ahead, you try it out for yourself. You let me know what your thoughts are, okay? You did see every um, product that I used the blenders with I tried to cover just about everything the powder my contour even though it was a powdered contour okay I enjoy using them I have not always been a big fan of putting my foundation on with the beauty blender and in all honesty right now I still do prefer using my foundation brushes now that's all I have for right now with this one if you decide to check it out for yourself let me know your thoughts and Based on what you've seen in this video, let me know below what you think. So, I do thank you for spending time with me on today. Hopefully, I've given you some information that's food for thought. And remember, regardless of the season that you are in, you will always be a seasoned beauty. Until next time.